Hello, it's Kelsey Ramsden from the Barefoot Boardroom, and I am here to answer a question that I got from a fellow barefooter from last week's video. So here we go. Kelsey, I loved your video today. You hit me between the eyes. Here's the problem though. Deep down, even though I know there is more for me, more to me, and maybe even a part of me I never show, I feel like I have all these dreams and ideas that I never get to because I'm stuck pretending to be okay. How can I do something about it when I spend most of my days convincing myself everything is okay? And I totally get this. Pretending. Um, I spent some time pretending. I don't know if you know this. I have a fancy MBA from a fancy MBA school. And I spent a lot of years pretending, first of all, that I didn't want an MBA. Mostly that was because I was afraid that they might not let me in. And then secondly, once I got said fancy MBA, I was afraid to tell people that I had it because of how they would judge me. Um, if I had it or if I didn't have it. And so I spent a lot of time pretending around that. And then once I got that MBA, I moved to a new city and got a new job and um, a new life that really I knew deep down wasn't mine, but it looked great on paper. So I spent a lot of pretend time pretending that it was okay too and convincing myself that it was good because it looked great on paper, but it never really resonated with me. So I get pretend, I understand pretend. I spent some time doing it. Um, but here's the thing. I, I, I did other things around pretending. I wouldn't open bank statements. Uh, I wouldn't call and get a check about my doctor. I would not respond to an email if I thought it was confrontational. But eventually I came to understand that reality does not like pretend um, and that reality marches on anyway. And so what I will offer to you are the three oh, there's a motorbike. Sorry, I'm outside. This is pretty, this is real. This is real. So three things that I did that helped work for me around reality and pretending. So the first thing is I made a list of what was really not okay. Just a list for me. Nobody else had to see it. What is not okay. Um, and what I was spending time convincing myself was okay, which wasn't. Then I asked myself, will avoiding the situation or that thing change it? Um, and then finally I asked myself, what will the result be if I do nothing? And so naturally I asked myself a lot of questions, but of course the most important thing is responding to those things and doing something about what you find out. So here's, here are the three things I would recommend doing. If, you, if you're in that place where you're stuck convincing yourself that something's okay or you're pretending, uh, the first thing is go into discovery mode. So I'll use finance as an example. Um, if I'm hiding out from opening bank statements or I have a business, I really don't want to know what it's doing, but uh, you know, intuitively we, we know there's a problem. That's why we're pretending or hiding out. So discover, figure out what's going on. It doesn't have to be super detailed, but just try and get an understanding of, of what's really happening, whether it is call the doctor and make the appointment discovery mode, because what it is, it already is. Um, the next thing is once you know the information, sleep on it. Do not react, you know, don't react, respond. I like to remind myself of that a lot. So sleep on it. And then the third thing is create a plan, right? Create a plan to affect it, to get the change that you want and act on one thing immediately. It's such an important part of it. So I'm gonna say it again, act on one thing immediately. I like to do the hardest thing first, the thing I wanna do least because usually that's the thing that I'll get hung up making excuses about or pretending about again is that, you know, I can't do that because or something. So act on one thing first. Um, you know, I think we all spend some time pretending. I don't think it's an abnormal place to be. I think if we're really real and honest with ourselves. Um, pretending is a comfortable place because a lot of times even, you know, being in discomfort is easier than making change. But at some point doing nothing is more painful than taking on the possibility of changing the situation. And so to the barefooter out there who submitted the question, thank you. Um, I think it took a lot of courage to step front and say, you know, there are things that I want or, or that I have that I don't want, but I'm spending time convincing myself everything is okay and, um, and I get it. So if you are a person who spends some time pretending and recognize that reality marches on, or if you're a person who's still um, working on convincing yourself that everything is okay. I invite you to join me in the comments below. If there is something in this email that you know will resonate or help someone that you know, please forward it on. Um, I show up here every week to help. That's what I'm here to do. And um, I thank you for showing up 
to be a part of our community, which is awesome and many thousands of members strong and all over the world. And I thank you so much for sharing it and we'll see you later. See you in the comments. Bye.